Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use GarageBand to edit some audio. So I'm often asked how to edit a piece of audio on the Mac if there's a program that somebody could use. Well, GarageBand is a great audio editor. You don't have to use all the music stuff and the special features. You can just use it to edit an audio file. Let's do that right now. So here I've created a basic GarageBand file. I just chose the piano default project. And I'm going to delete the only track that's there, the grand piano, by selecting it by clicking here and hitting Command Delete. So that gives me a completely empty GarageBand project. I've got an audio file here that I'm going to drag into it. Now it could be almost any format. In this case, it's AIF format, could be WAV, could be an MP3. I'm going to drag it and drop it right into this area. And it will import the audio right there. I can play back the sound by pressing the play button at the bottom. Hi, this is Gary. The Mac Answers Pod. I can position in the sound by dragging the marker up here and I can see the red line there going as well. So I can go to any point in the sound like here and start playing. You can check out the Mac Ventures pop. Now I can view the waveform closer by double clicking on it and it will open up the audio region editor down here. You can see as I drag the cursor here at the top I can see the red line here and I can also see it down here. Here I can see a much better view of the audio waveform. Now if I want to split this track in some location, say to edit out some sound at the beginning, let's say I want to edit out this first piece of sound here. Hi, this is Gary. The Mac answers. So I want to edit that first bit out right there. So I want to cut it right there. So what I'm going to do is go to edit and split. And this will split it into two regions. You can see I can select the first region or the second region representing the rest. I could simply select this. I can also look over here in the audio region editor and I can see the two different sections right there. So I can select this here and I can simply press delete. And I could move this over to the left just by dragging it. And now I've edited out that first bit of audio. The Mac Answers Podcast. It's a I could also do that down below here. I can select this area here and simply press delete. And that will delete the region. I can then move it over. I can do that in the middle as well. And you see how it split the track here. Now you can also play with the volume of a track. Simply select the track, click this little button here, and it gives you the track volume. You can then click to create points and adjust the volume. Like I can gradually lower it here, have it lower for a while, gradually increase it here, things like that. I could boost an area like that. do all sorts of things and then you could always preview your changes or from the MacMost Facebook page. Now if I want to modify how it sounds like, I go to track info like so and I have a whole bunch of different filters here on the left. So I can select one, say vocals, and I can take one and say use helium and then try to play it with that filter applied. Hi, this is Gary. You can edit a filter as much as you want. Go to the editing tab here and you can see all the effects that are applied to make that filter. You can select any one of them and go ahead and change all sorts of different things about it. So you can experiment to your heart's delight making special effects for the sound. Now after you're done editing the sound and you get it just the way you want, you can get it out of GarageBand by choosing Share and then Export Song to Disk. Here you've got some options. If you don't select Compress, then you get a AIF file, which is a raw audio file and of the highest quality. If you select Compress, you can choose many different things, including MP3 encoder, and select the quality. And then you can hit Export and name your file and save it anywhere that you want. So I hope you liked that quick look at editing audio in GarageBand. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.